Q&A. Will Generator X come with programs installed? I don't own a Windows laptop. You do need to use Spooky to load the programs, so you do need a Windows laptop. If you don't have a laptop and you know which programs you need, you can contact a lovely support team. Give them a list of 30 program names that you want to have included in the generator. And you can ask them to preload them for you. Now they're pretty good like this. We do try and help our users. Now at this point in time, I'm going to show you the offline mode. Actually, even better, I'll show you. Uh, let's have a look. I've got to find the USB port that this one is connected to, which is that one there. I'll unplug the USB. Now you'll see that the screen on Generator X has changed. It's now saying choose your treatment program. You've got the two generator buttons here, generator number one and generator number two. And so you choose which generator you want to load um, the programs in. So we'll choose pro generator number one. Now you can see the programs which are loaded in this generator. There's currently 11 programs in here. There's eczema, gout, blood pressure, knee injury, uh, tinnitus, toothache. If you use the cursor up, you can see the ones above there. And so there's also abdominal pain, acne, asthma. Yeah, there's a few more as well. And so all you do is you choose the generator, which we've already done. And so you can see program generator number one. You scroll down to the program you want to run. You run asthma. You select the program. You click on the start button. It's ready to go. And you press again. And it's running. If you press the start button, it will run through the program and then stop. If instead of pressing the start button, you press the loop button, it will run and a loop icon will appear in the top right of the screen, indicating that once it goes to the finish of this program, it will restart and it will run until such time you press stop, which is at the top here. Well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> in about 20 seconds, I've taught you how to use offline um, mode. Now, if I was to start generator one, I can then go to generator number two, choose a different program in generator number two, let's say cold and flu, it's something I kind of need now. Press start and press start again. And so you can see asthma is running at the top, cold and flu is running at the bottom. Generator one is the top one, generator two is the bottom one. Now isn't that simple? Shouldn't all rife machines be like that? In standalone mode, Output number two is always inverse sync of output number one. So we designed it like this for contact mode because we thought that most, in most situations, contact mode will be the method of um, the um, type of um, use for generator X and standalone. It can also drive our plasma devices in standalone mode as well. And I'll be covering that in a little while. So each generator is completely independent. They share the same controls. You select which one is being controlled by the generator number, generator two button. The one that the window which has gone white is the one that's got the current control. And so I can pause it by pressing start again. You can see it's now paused. And so it's very intuitive. Now let's say you've got programs running, as we do now. Well, I'll start up number two again, so we're running. 